Hello everyone, welcome to uh, part 4 of my Java tutorial on how to make the game of life. And today we are going uh, to be coding some mouse input so that we can actually draw on the screen and just experiment with it. So first we're going to import uh, three, uh, three classes, three, uh, three abstract classes, two abstract classes, sorry. So we got Java Alt event mouse event import Java Alt event mouse listener import Java event and mouse motion listener and now we're just going to add these up here and okay I was wondering why that was a it says it was still uh, in my class. That was in my class. So now we just want to call this up here, mouse listener. And we also want to call the mouse motion listener up here. Now we have to go down here and implement all the methods for that class. Yeah, it sucks. Anyway, not that bad. Public void mouse dragged. So when you drag your mouse, when you click it, you uh, hold it, no sorry, let me rephrase that, when you press uh, a button from your mouse, then the mouse drag uh, event will be, what, will be what is running. If you're just moving your mouse, then this is what will be activated instead. So this is part of the mouse motion uh, abstract class. So now we're just gonna add the uh, mouse listener methods. So public void mouse clicked, mouse event E, just like that. Public void mouse pressed, Mouse event E, public void, I probably misspelt this somewhere here, public void mouse released, mouse event E, this almost feels a bit too easy, doesn't it? Public void mouse uh, entered. And can I even spell? I think I can. Cool, I wasn't sure if that was the right spelling. Public void mouse exited. Wow, we're done. We're finally done. So what is wrong with this? Capital L, that's what's wrong with it. Okay, cool. Now we just gotta go up here first, before we do anything, we go up here. And we say uh, add mouse motion listener this, add uh, mouse listener this. Now, what this is referring to is that the add mouse motion listener it listens to uh, the, well, obviously to the mouse motion listener. And the same goes with the mouse listener, it listens to the mouse listener, so that when you do something with your mouse, it actually happens, because otherwise if you don't uh, implement these two, nothing will happen with your mouse, and you'll be wondering what's going on. So, what we want to do is, I'll just run this, so it's easier to explain. So we want, so what we want to do is if the cell is off we want to be able to click on it and make it turn on and if a cell is on we want to click on it and to be able to turn off and we want to be able to drag on this as well so let's go mouse drag let's call it int x is equal to e 
dot get x divided by the size and int y is equal to e dot get y divided by the size. Now we say if uh, life of x y is equal to one no zero because that means off then before life will equal one else if and we're not going to be saying else because we're going to be expanding on this uh, later life of x is equal to one then before life is equal to zero. And before we run it, we're going to have to call repaint, otherwise you'll see nothing. So let's go ahead and run it and see what happens. So once I click and drag, something should happen. Yep, so as you can see there, it turns on, but then it turns immediately off afterwards. So how can we stop that from happening? Hmm, that's a good question. That's a good question. Let's think about that. Let's say you have your, you've clicked your mouse. So you clicked your mouse. So we want to pretty much copy the same for this. And we also just want to do the same. I should have just copied all of that. I don't know why I did it like this. Do it like that as well. But let's also get a, let's get another uh, variable into this. So let's uh, call a boolean and let's say it's been, clicked. So if it's clicked, so, so far it's false. And then once we click it, we say uh, clicked is equal to true. So let's just go ahead and just say and clicked and clicked. And I probably stuffed up my logic somewhere. Probably makes no sense. Okay, what have I done? I must have done something horribly, horribly wrong. Uh, let's say you also should say if mouse released, then click is equal to false. But then again, I've done it wrong, so it doesn't really matter. I've done it like this. Um, okay, let me just run it again. See, see what's up. What's going on? Well, nothing's happening. I mean, no, that's wrong. Something's happening. Hmm, I think I'm calling it in the wrong thing. I think that's what's up. It's probably not mouse clicked, but mouse pressed. So let me just run that again and see what's up. Yep, okay, that works a bit better. Okay, but it's still doing that thing. Oh dear, okay. Um, huh, why does it have to be so confusing sometimes? Okay, so we got that. And...
and we just made it clicked equals true. And now I'm having trouble finding everything. Okay, there we go. And I, silly me, and we want this to be, so we sort of want two parts of this, I think. We want one that, where if it's life equals zero, then if the initial uh, starting block was zero, then we just want to be able to change the zero value. If that makes sense. So if all if all the cells in the if some cells in the area are zero, and we want to draw more ones on the screen or or ons, then we click on zero. Then even if we uh, somehow go off to the on cells, it won't uh, change. So let's now let's just run that, and let's see what happens. I think that works a little bit better. I think that works a little bit better. Okay. Okay, okay. So instead of a boolean, let's change this to an int and we call it initial. And we'll say uh, let's just give it a value of negative one. Initial is equal to when it's released and the mouse is released, it will be equal to negative one. So when mouse is clicked, so we go e dot get x. What am I doing? Let's just copy and paste. So mouse clicked like this. And if I should just copy it both of them, just delete that. A little bit there. I keep doing that. Call repaint here. Delete that. So if life zero, if life is equal to zero, then initial is equal to zero. And I'm pretty sure we can just write an else for this one here. And we can just say initial is equal to one. And I need to swap those over. Okay, there we go. So now let's go ahead and see what's up. What does it do? So end initial is equal to zero. Is it zero? Wait, have I stuffed up? I've stuffed up. Yeah, and my bad. Whoopsies. And initial is equal to one. Then we do this. And I feel like that should be good we don't have to worry about that. So once we draw on the screen, it does nothing. Epic. You know, I was doing this last night just to be sure I could do it, and I got it working, but now it just doesn't want to work anymore. Okay, I'm getting a little a little tired of this. I got to be honest. I did this so easily. Just lost. Oh, hang on. I just did a thing just there. So. Maybe it's not mouse clicked. Mouse pressed. I could I could have sworn it was mouse clicked.
Nope, we still have that issue going on. Or do we? Sort of hard to tell. Let's slow it down a little bit. And let's see what's happening. Uh, where is it? There it is. Yep, now it's all, now it just hurts your eyes. And nope, this is, this actually works really well. As you can see, it doesn't turn on and off. Like I can go across, yep, it's working. It's just the starting one can sort of disappear, I think. Maybe the frame was just a little too fast. Yeah, I think the frame was too fast. Okay, so let's do that with on cells now. Yep. So we can also do that with on cells. Perfect, now it's working. Okay, now then. We need to do something with this timer. Do we? Do we want to expand more on this? I think we do, yeah, okay. So if we press it, let's say time just stops. So we're gonna to have to say, call a new timer. So timer, time, and we're going to say time equals new timer, like this, and then time dot start. And then Uh, once we have the mouse pressed, we want the timer to stop. And then once we release it, we want the time to start again. So let's see if that works out now. So it's all ugly now. And as you can see, it's no longer doing anything. And then we can just release it and boom, there we go. So now I can do this. And it doesn't matter how fast you're going, you can still stop it, although you probably will need to be a need to be a little quick. I have my cat on my bed. I don't know if you guys can hear her. So it stops. Yep. And we just have a let's have just a um make a little oscillator there. There we go. There we go. Let's make a um what would be a cool pattern? Let's see what happens when we do that. That happens, see? So now we can just experiment, just like this. So like what happens if I put put something there? That happens, and I can just do that. So that's cool. Um, do I have time? No, I don't have time, I don't have time. I want to, so this will be I think the next episode will be last, and all we're going to do there is we're going to make it so that you're able to uh, give it just random values, or you have you want it to be empty at first, and then you can put inputs and just try out different things. So I'm going to do that in the next episode, and that will be the last one. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. hope you learned something new. Uh, leave a like and a subscribe and tell me if I've uh, if I've skipped over anything if you're confused about anything in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video